I lost my way a little bit of who I was in in trying to make the marriage. Jennifer Lopez, J-Lo, is trending again, but this time it's not for her music or movies. The headlines aren't talking about her fashion or her latest business ventures. No, J-Lo is once again in the spotlight for her roller coaster of a love life, a pattern so predictable it's almost tragic. Here's the shocking truth. J-Lo has been married four times, engaged six times, and has had countless high-profile relationships that have all ended in disaster. The real question everyone's asking is, why can't J-Lo stay married? J-Lo is an icon. She's beautiful, talented, and fiercely successful. But when it comes to love, she seems to be living in a soap opera, one where she's the leading lady, constantly searching for her happy ending. But every time she gets close, it all falls apart. And the pattern is hard to ignore. She jumps into relationships before her previous ones have even cooled off, dragging her children into this never-ending cycle of new dads. J-Lo's first marriage to Ohani Noah in 1997 only lasted 11 months. Not much is known about what went wrong, and it seems J-Lo made sure of that. She had Ohani sign a non-disclosure agreement, sealing his lips shut on the real reason for their split. And let's be real, there had to be some serious drama behind those closed doors. Years later, Ohani tried to spill the tea by writing a tell-all book and releasing some scandalous home videos, but J-Lo wasn't having it. She sued him and won, keeping her secrets buried. After Ohani, J-Lo jumped into the arms of none other than Sean Diddy Combs. They were the power couple of the late 90s, until they weren't. The two were involved in a nightclub shooting scandal in 1999, where Diddy was accused of firing a gun that injured three people. J-Lo was by his side, but it didn't take long before their relationship crumbled under the weight of infidelity and legal battles. J-Lo later admitted, it was the first time I was with someone who wasn't faithful. Not something real a heartbreaking realization that she shared with Vibe magazine. But if you thought J-Lo would take some time to heal, think again. Just seven months after breaking up with Diddy, she was walking down the aisle with her backup dancer, Chris Judd. Once again, the marriage was short-lived, lasting only 10 months. It was as if J-Lo was in a constant rush to find the one, but each time she did, it ended in heartbreak. The media dubbed her relationship with Ben Affleck as Benifer, a relationship that was as iconic as it was doomed. Is this happening? Is this really happening? And we were so happy. And they met on the set of the flop movie Geely in 2002, and their romance quickly became tabloid fodder. J-Lo was head over heels, flaunting her 6.1 carat pink diamond ring that Ben gave her, a $2.5 million declaration of love. But by 2003, just days before their wedding, they called it off, citing excessive media attention. But let's not kid ourselves, there was more to it. Years later, Ben confessed, it was because I was dating Jennifer Lopez that made it a big deal. Reflecting on how their relationship became a media circus, overshadowing their real problems. Just when we thought J-Lo might take a breather after the Benefer debacle, she did what she does best, jumped head first into another relationship. Enter Mark Anthony. This time, it was different, or so we all thought. J-Lo married Mark just a few months after calling off her engagement to Ben in what seemed like an attempt to patch up her broken heart. In her memoir, True Love, she admitted, I sought out comfort in another person, tried to find someone who could make me feel loved and wanted in my loneliest hour. I just put all my heart and soul into. And for a while, it worked. They were the picture-perfect couple, welcoming twins Max and Emma in 2008. But as history would have it, their marriage too was headed for disaster. By 2011, the cracks in their relationship were too deep to ignore. Mark filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences. A vague turn that did little to explain what really went wrong. Who are you talking to? That's what I'm saying. Uh, hello? Yeah, Jennifer, he doesn't have that singer. though. But if you read between the lines, it's clear that J-Lo was once again trying to fill a void that no man could ever satisfy. She even confessed later, it wasn't until I had my kids that I realized how much I was missing. 
Her words revealed a deeper truth that maybe JLo's relentless search for love was masking a deeper insecurity, one that no relationship could ever fix. But did JLo learn from this heartbreak? Not even close. Before the ink on her divorce papers was dry, she was already linked to another man, this time a much younger one. Casper Smart, one of her backup dancers, became her new love interest. And the tabloids had a field day with the 18-year age gap between them. Benny Medina, J-Lo's longtime manager, even voiced his concern, saying, I think the first person besides me to know was Benny. The thing that I always sort of wished is that she would give herself time to just naturally meet someone instead of having obsessive guys pursue her. And Benny was right. The relationship was doomed from the start. Casper was caught cheating on J-Lo with not one, but two transgender models, a scandal that rocked their already shaky relationship. But J-Lo, in her usual fashion, forgave him. They continued their on-again, off-again relationship for five years before finally calling it quits in 2016. It was another example of J-Lo's pattern, falling hard and fast, and then getting burned just as quickly. But did J-Lo take time to heal after Casper? Of course not. By 2017, she had moved on to former baseball star Alex Rodriguez, better known as A-Rod. Their relationship seemed like a match made in heaven. They were both superstars in their own right, with the media dubbing them the ultimate power couple. In March 2019, A-Rod proposed with a $1.8 million ring. Respond to the fact that we got together. And the world waited with bated breath for their fairy tale wedding. But then COVID-19 hit and their wedding plans were postponed again and again. By early 2021, rumors started swirling that A-Rod was cheating with reality TV star Madison LaCroix. Despite the denials, the damage was done. In April 2021, J-Lo and A-Rod announced their split, stating they were better as friends. But was it really that simple? Or was it just another chapter in J-Lo's never-ending quest for love? After the A-Rod debacle, you'd think J-Lo would slow down, maybe take some time to reflect, right? Wrong. In true J-Lo fashion, she did what she always does, leaped head first into another relationship. But this time, she circled back to the man who had once been the love of her life, Ben Affleck. Yes, Benefer 2.0 was back in full swing and the media went wild. This reunion seemed like a fairy tale come true for J-Lo. After nearly two decades apart, she and Ben were giving it another shot. And for a moment, it really did seem like they might finally get there happily ever after. In April 2022, Ben proposed again and J-Lo couldn't wait to show off her new engagement ring. But behind the scenes, not everything was as rosy as it seemed. Remember the old saying, you can't teach an old dog new tricks? Well, that might just apply to J-Lo's love life, because despite all the therapy sessions, the self-help books, and the promises to herself to finally get it right, J-Lo fell into the same old patterns. Ben was still Ben with all his issues, and J-Lo was still J-Lo with all her control freak tendencies. It wasn't long before the cracks started to show. By mid-2023, rumors were swirling that things were falling apart, again. And this time, it wasn't just tabloid gossip. Reports surfaced that Ben had moved out of their $68 million LA mansion and into a $100,000 a month rented apartment in Brentwood. The reason? J-Lo's controlling behavior and their clashing personalities were driving them apart. Once again, J-Lo found herself on the brink of another failed marriage. Of course it was happening, but I just felt like the wedding was so stressful. But what's really behind J-Lo's never ending cycle of love and heartbreak? Is she just unlucky in love or is there something deeper at play here? Some say J-Lo is a classic love addict, someone who is in love with the idea of being in love rather than the person themselves. As one therapist put it, she rebounds very quickly and never gives herself the chance to understand what she's doing. It's an emotional band-aid and you fall into the same exact pattern with the next person. And let's not forget JLo's own admission. In an interview, she once said, I was realizing that my marriage was falling apart and it was just the whole thing was heartbreaking. 
But instead of dealing with the pain, she jumped right into another relationship, hoping to fill the void. It's a pattern she's repeated time and time again, and it's why her relationships keep crumbling. But then there's the issue of control. JLo was a powerhouse in her career. She calls the shots. She's in charge. But that kind of control doesn't always translate well to her personal life. In fact, it might just be one of the reasons her marriages keep failing. Her longtime manager, Benny Medina, once said, apart from jumping into relationships, her other problem is trying to change the men to fit into who she wants them to be. And that, my friends, is a recipe for disaster. So where does JLo go from here? Will Benefer 2.0 survive the storm? Or will it end just like all the others? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, JLo isn't done with love just yet. She's a hopeless romantic at heart, and no matter how many times she gets burned, she'll always be on the lookout for that next great love. And who knows, maybe one day she'll finally get it right. Whatever the outcome, you can count on us to keep you updated on every shocking twist and turn in Jennifer Lopez's ongoing love saga. If you're just as hooked on this story as we are, don't miss out. Subscribe to True Celebrity Stories. We're your ultimate source for the latest scoop on J-Lo, Hollywood's biggest stars, and all the juicy details behind the scenes. Hit that subscribe button and dive into the comments below. What's your take on J-Lo's tumultuous love life?